Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the brothers that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Raka Kwadash, Raka Tham. This is um, you know, an article on um, you know, what happened in the New Year's pretty much, man. Basically, the New Year's people on the so-called day of the New Year, you know, people were killing each other, man. Murdering each other. Okay? And that's in, that's in the scriptures, man. It tells you in the scriptures, man, that because iniquity abounds, the love of many shall wax cold, man, in the last days. And this is what's happening. So that's what's happening, man. This is The prophecies are prophecies being fulfilled more and more. People are getting more wicked, killing each other more every day. It's getting more hell. It's becoming more, um, more wicked, man, as the day goes on. So let me read this article. This is meant to be the new year, man. So the new year came in with people killing each other, man. And that's fucking beautiful. Okay, this is um, New Year's Eve murders. Four young men stabbed to death in London, in the city, right? Okay, the scene where a schoolboy was stabbed to death in Tulse Hill, South London. Okay, now, let's, let me read this here. This is, four young men were stabbed to death in separate attacks on New Year's Eve, marking one of the worst days of knife crime in the capital, specifically on that day, New Year's Eve. One of the worst days for knife crime, right? So it's just... As, because uh, New Year's is a heavy satanic spirit, man. Okay? And it says, The attacks across London which are being treated as unrelated mark the end of a year which has seen knife and gun crime on the rise and brings a total number of people stabbed to death in the city to 80. And that's the spirit. It says knife and gun crime on the rise because, hey, the Lord's making it more where it's getting more, you know, um, crazy out here, man. So it's funny how the Lord started off this, uh, you know, so-called New Year's. He started it off with people killing each other, man. And that's beautiful, okay? Stabbed to death in the city, in the city, it's uh, like it, death in the city to 80. One of the victims was 17 and another 18, bringing a total number of teenagers killed in London last year to a decade high of 26. It comes just days after Cressida... Cressida Dick, the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, suggested budget cuts were to blame for rise, rising knife crime, saying that this area is where the world, the, this area, saying that this area is where she would focus, focus an extra resource. The deaths have renewed calls from campaigners for tougher sentences for those carrying knives and will be seen as a setback to London. Mayor Sadiq Khan and his aim to get a stranglehold on the year on year increase in knife crime. Well, it's gonna even get worse, man. It's gonna get it's gonna get even worse, okay? Hopefully, because this year Lord's rule is the last year, man. The Lord Yahabashim Yahshai is about to end this place, man. So before the Lord ends it, he's gonna make it total confusion, total all out hell out here, man. Before he destroys it, so it's only gonna get worse. It ain't getting no better, all right? Okay, and then it says. The day of violence began at 11.30 a.m. on the 31st of September when an 18-year-old man was stabbed in Enfield, North London and taken to hospital where he later died. Five men have since been arrested. At around 7.35 p.m., a 20-year-old man was fatally stabbed in West Ham, East London. At 10.40 p.m., a 17-year-old... This is all in that New Year's Day, man. So that's the, that's the spirit, man. You know? That's the spirit, man. More of this is going to come. More people are going to die, man. You know what I'm saying? Before the Lord finally ends this wicked place, man. And I want to get get some scriptures. I just wanted to finish this article. It says, And at 10.40pm, a 17-year-old college student died from a single stab wound in Tulse Hill, South London, after an altercation on a bus. So it was a spirit of death was out on that day, man. <laughs> people were killing each other from 11.30 in the morning up until the night time. You know? And it says, in the early hours of New Year's Day, a 20-year-old man was stabbed to death in Old Street, East London. A second man in his 20s was taken to hospital suffering critical injuries. And they, they were they meant to be partying and revel, uh, the partying bullshit, but then they were partying and reveling and a, uh, the spirit of uh, death jumped on them to kill each other while they were doing that. Or so-called enjoying the, t uh, the parties or whatever, the festivities, and they just started killing each other, man. You know? It says the the you know their minds were controlled to do that stuff, man. You know by the the spirits, man, controlling them to do it. It says four separate murder investigations have been launched by detectives from the Homicide and Major Crime Command. 
Commander Neil Ger Jerome of the Mets Territorial Policing Command said four deaths in such short period was unusual. Well, that's the Lord. The Lord ma made that happen, man. And more of this is coming. Unusual. Adding, we have certainly seen in recent months an increase in knife crime. He said it is, it is heartbreaking that at the time when so many of us were contemplating what lies ahead in 2018 well what lies ahead in 2018 is more is the prophecies of the, the scriptures the prophecies of the bible of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai's word coming to pass that's what lies ahead the RFID mark of the beast microchip okay the um the martial law troops uh, coming into the cities locking down the city of London okay locking down the cities man the um concentration camps Okay, people getting heart, carted off into, yeah, concentration camps, uh, you know, that's what's coming to pass. The World War Three, that's what lies ahead in 2018, man, you know, World War Three, which is a war to end all wars, all wars which is going to be a nuclear firefight, man, okay. Four families are dealing with grief, with grief of the, losing loved ones. One of the, one, one to senseless violence and the callous use of a knife as lethal weapons. I can assure Londoners and families and friends at the four males killed and the fifth who remains in hospital that detectives will work tirelessly to bring to justice those responsible for such despicable acts of violence. It says, it says, the murder scene at Old Street, it says, the latest figures from the official from the official for national statistics show that nearly th 37,000 knife crimes were committed in England and Wales in the 12 months to the end of June 2017. This is the highest number since 2011 and 7,500 more blades, blade offences blade offences than the same period in the previous year. Mr Khan said the police were out in force helping people enjoy our... I mean, this is this is basically much of the article, man. Basically, the Lord's bringing more... Okay, the Lord's bringing more death and destruction to this place, man. More death. The prophecies are coming to pass. 2018, the year of prophecy, man. More prophecies are going to come to pass. That, that The World War Three, man. They're already talking about the nuclear... The nuclear fights. The nuclear war in... Um, in... Uh, in the news, man, okay? They're already talking about nuclear weapons, man. They've always been talking about it. This year is the year of prophecy, man. Okay, more of this stuff is going to happen. More death, more deaths coming, man. All right? Now, let me read, the, let me read it in the scriptures now, man. Okay, this is, um, this is uh, Matthew 24 and uh, 12. It says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And is not iniquity abounding? You're goddamn right, iniquities abounding, man. The world's getting more wicked, man. So the scripture says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what's happening, man. People are just going to start offing each other in record numbers, man. They're going to start offing each other, man. Okay? Because I'm sure some of those parties that guys died were Jake parties, man. Wicked ass niggas, man. Partying and reveling and killing each other, man. Okay? That's what's going on, man. But it's alright, it's in the scriptures, it's in the prophecy, man. It says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. And that's what's happening in these last days, man. People are getting more cold, man. More sinister. Okay? That's what's going on, man. Alright? So let me read this here. This is, um... This is, uh... uh this is John. This is John 8 and uh, 44. It says... Ye are of your father the devil. This is the Lord talking to wicked niggas, man. Okay? Ye are of your father the devil. Okay? Who's the devil, man? The, the devil's a so-called white man, okay? Esau. Okay? And the loss of your father you will do. And the loss of Esau, what Esau does, that's what these Negroes, these wicked Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans out here do, man. The loss of, the, of, of what Esau does. Whatever Esau does, they love doing the same thing. Ye, ye are of your father the devil. And the loss of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And he was a murderer from the beginning, man. Because what? Cain killed Abel, man. Righteous Abel. Cain. And Cain is the spirit of the so-called white man today. The spirit of Esau today, man. It says he was a murderer from the beginning, man. And a boat, and that's what he did from the beginning. He was a murderer, man. Esau. And guess what? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You murder out here, man. You murder each other. Okay? You murder each other, man. Kill each other with no just cause, just killing each other, man. That's what's going on out here, man. 
He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. And there's no truth in the so-called white man. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that don't get down with the Lord's word in these last days, because we're living in the last days, man. Okay, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that Yahweh Shai, whom the world calls Jesus Christ, which his name's Yahweh Shai, is about to make his second coming, man. Okay, it says, and abode not in the truth, because there's no truth in him. There's no truth in the so-called white man, man. And any of our people that don't get down with the Lord's word, there's no truth in you, man. Okay, because it says, there's no truth in him, because, uh, because okay, there's no truth, there, and abode not in the truth, because there's no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. That's a so-called white man. But then the Lord was talking to the wicked Negroes at that time, man. Okay? And that's the same thing, man. It says, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it, man. Okay? That's a so-called white man. Anything a so-called white man pushes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, eat it up, man. And you love doing it. You love doing it as well. Niggas love killing each other, man. Niggas love, you know, they're stunting on each other and shooting each other and stabbing each other, okay? Well, you know what? You can go ahead and keep doing that because you're going to do that until the Lord wipes you out anyway. So keep doing it, man, okay? We're only concerned with the elect, man, those that are going to wake up and repent and come back to the Lord, to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, to who they are, man, okay? Let me read this here as well. This is, uh, this is Hosea 4. And one, it says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Lord in the land. And that's what's going on. The Lord has a controversy, man. The Lord's gonna destroy this land, man. The Lord's gonna destroy America. The Lord's gonna completely destroy America from from the uh, east to the west, man, of America. All of it, the whole land. S north, south, all of it. Okay? And England, wherever Jake's spread throughout the world you there's the lord's got a controversy with them lands man he's gonna bring hell upon you man in those lands brazil whether it's them wicked us um brazilians in the, in the favelas whatever they're doing out there man killing each other they do the same shit you see the watch the documentary they do the same thing i'm sure they were murdering each other off in mass numbers in the new years man they do it anyway so the lord's got a controversy with the lands man okay it says by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touch of blood. Yeah, they swear, they're swearing, you know, by swearing, you know, and lying, okay, and killing, okay, by swearing, lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. That's the Lord's outlining these things, okay, you know, and swearing ain't saying F you and things like that, man, all right. But it says it here, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touch of blood. Okay? By lying, killing, murdering each other, man. And stealing, committing adultery. That's, that, um, adultery is punishable by death. All these things are punishable. Uh, you can be pun you, there's punishments for them. Some unto death, man. Okay? There's punishments for them. They break out and blood touch of blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, the fishes and the sea also shall be taken away. So Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is going to bring destruction, man. And we're in the year of the Lord, the prophecies coming to pass, man. We're, the prophecies have been coming to pass, man. But Lord willing, this is the last year, man. The Lord's going to destroy this place, man. He's going to destroy America. He's going to take the so-called white man out of power all throughout the world, man. And establish his kingdom, man. Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man. A righteous kingdom. All right, so with that, I'm just going to say all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to the brothers that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rokakudash, Barakafam, shalom, shalom.